There are so many guests already arriving. And have you seen the wedding decorations they put up in the gardens? So beautiful. So beautiful. Like, oh God, to die for. You know, we're as lucky as she is. Marjorie was but a lady when we were sent to serve at Highgarden. But in just a few days' time, we'll be attending to a queen at a royal feast. Where we're standing, we'll be able to see everyone. And everyone will be able to see us. We've certainly come a long way, haven't we? Oh, snap. I've been meaning to say what I told you about my family. Fuck your family. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. My trust doesn't come free. Uh, well, be careful who you trust. Yeah, kinda. Sarah, you should be careful who you trust around here. Secrets can be dangerous in the wrong hands. I'll certainly be more careful in the future. Hold on, look. There he is. She looked kind of pissed about that. Lord Morgren? No, no, next to him. Lord Tarwick. I don't want to be a handmaiden forever. And this wedding may be the best chance of meeting a husband I'll ever have. I have to go talk to him. He's gonna be Marjorie bald in two years. A few minutes longer. You Could fucking you kidding me? Make an excuse for me? Please. I'm not asking for much. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Sarah? Marjorie's so busy. I can't just wait for her to find a match for me. Please, just don't tell Marjorie. I don't know if she's gonna ask. Oh! Uh-oh. What's the plan? Oh my god, there's so many people here! Okay, okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. What are you doing here? You crazy? I know I shouldn't be here, but we have to talk. I didn't know when I would see you next. Are you all right? I I'm fine. Thank you. I, I just needed to warn you. From who? I was down in Flea Bottom last night when I overheard a couple of Lannister guards talking about. Shh. They already know he's missing, probably dead. They're questioning people, searching for his body. It's not safe for either of us. Please tell me you took care of it. Of course. I told you I would. Good, good. No one will know what you did. Oh, yes. What? What we did, right? What is it? It's, it was a team effort. If we're going to survive this, there can't be any details we've overlooked. Oh, don't tell me we're going to kill a second person. Lannister guard. He saw me with him in the garden. Oh, oh, no. You need to keep your head down. Stay out of sight for a while. How? Do you forget who I serve? Just don't get in any more trouble. And I'll, I'll watch your back. We're in this together now. Okay, okay. Just thank you him. We life. don't need to know why. I don't even know your name. It's... It's Tom. Thanks, Tommy thank boy. You, Tom. Don't thank me yet, Lady Mira. There's still someone out there who saw you with a dead man. And I don't... Mira! Oh... My lady. Really? Oh, God. A tryst in the bushes with that coal boy. I need some Not coal. Not to say it's wrong, but... With all the lords and knights in King's Landing, you just don't want to spoil your chances of a good marriage. Oh, it's not like Truly, that. it's nothing, Sarah. He's a friend. Really? Is that so? Oh Come my on. god. Marjorie expects us at the throne room. We don't want to be late. Aw, oh, you, you bitch. I know what you want to do. Tarwick on the way. Well, if you really want to know, first of all, his you. name's Garibald. Bitch. And he has this really funny accent. Not for what she has he's done, but for what I about. think she's probably it's going to do. But st that's and still I've good enough reason to call someone a bitch. Songs to play for Joffrey at the feast. I assume you have no problems oh, with the reigns oh, oh, oh. of Castamere. I trust you've chosen all the I standards. I love this wedding. But just to be sure, 
I'll draw up a list of wedding ballads we favor in Highgarden. Your Grace. My Lady. Which reminds me, Joffrey will require his King's Guard close at hand during the feast. I'm afraid we'll have no room for your handmaidens. <gasps> but we. What was that? Do you object? Objection. Is that what I heard? I. Uh, if you're going your to Grace. speak out of turn, girl. I. You should finish what you start. Your Grace, we must do as Our Lady commands us. If Marjorie has need of us during the wedding, the then... The King's safety is more important than straightening your lady's gown. I asked your handmaiden here at the Iron Throne, whom she would serve if forced to choose oh, no! and the King. She said she'd serve the King, Fuck. yet now she puts your needs first. Uh -oh. I'm surprised you'd let such swings of loyalty go unchecked. It's not swinging In any of case, loyalty. It's settled. The King's Guard will stay with Joffrey. Your handmaidens oh, will sit God. elsewhere. King's Landing is of such... course, Your Grace. Anything for my beloved Joffrey. Lady Marjorie, we may not see eye to eye on everything, but I hope you will at least agree with me that our handmaidens should know their place. Go fuck and that yourself. Place is not with my brother, Tyrion. No, it's with your other brother, am I right? Huh? What did she mean by that? You and Tyrion. What you do reflects on me. If something's going on, I need to know about it. I... I haven't done anything wrong, my lady. That's not how it seemed. Queen Cersei made it seem like much more than that. Sarah? What do you know of this? Woman? Mira would never go against your wishes. Yeah! Oh my god, okay. This, this means we gotta protect her back too. But this means we're fucking over what Lady am Marjorie. I to think, Mira? Oh fuck. God I've damn only it. ever tried to help you. <laughs> Why are you making trouble for I'm me? I'm not! I'm not trying to. Oh my god. My family needs me. We're losing everything. I have to do whatever I can to help them. I'm not blind to your pain, Mira. But your problems are not the only ones in the world. Right now, I need you both to be my handmaidens, and that's all I need you to be. I used to like you, Marjorie. What happened? Let there be no mistake. If I hear of you speaking so much as a word to Tyrion Lannister again, you what? can go home to your family. Oh my god. Fuck it, we're gonna say it. I'm only trying to help my family. You would do the same for yours. Suck on that, Please bitch! don't send me home. This can't happen again. Roderick, it's the White Hills. They're assembling in the courtyard. They've woken the house. You can't let this go on. They want to see us cower in our own house. Duncan! I'll need my sentinel. Oh, wait, he's gone. Go ahead, Talia, and have Duncan meet me in the courtyard. He's, he's gone. not back from the wall yet. Fuck. Then make sure Royland's there. It's a parade of dead men if I have my way. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? I demand to know. <laughs> You're just laughing? Those are strong words. For a cripple who can't carry a sword? All of you, show your respect to Griff Whitehill, fourth-born son fourth of Lord Lund Whitehill and commander of this garrison.
Cocky Roderick, we used to call you. Swinging your prick round, lording it over my family. Now look at you, eh? Roderick the Ruined. I hardly recognize you. But the name fits, don't it? <laughs> Pathetic. I've had enough of this, Griff. What are you trying to prove here? I had to get your attention, didn't I? Always so busy beating your own chest, Roderick. I don't think he gets it. No, my lord. I don't think he does. Your brother Ethan didn't get it either. You bite your tongue. I am in charge now! And the first thing you need to know is that if I am not happy, no one is happy. So my men are taking over your great hall. That's where we'll quarter from now on. What? You can't. You'll have to go through me. I won't have my men sleeping out in your barn in shit and filth. Maybe that's how foresters live, but not us. I don't care if you're happy or not. You'll quarter where I tell you. I wasn't fucking asking, Roderick. And what's more, you will treat my men <gasps> yes, right. Back. I've heard what you've done. Pushing wine on them, turning them into drunkards. That ends now. I'm not here to keep them in line. I'm here to keep you in line. You think you're being clever? If your men don't like it here, you can march them back to High Point. Watch yourself, Roderick. This is against the King's law. You've no right to make such demands. I have every right. We're here under the orders of Roos Bolton, Warden of the North. So I will be in your halls. I will be in your courtyard. I will sit on your fucking council and be in your bedchambers if I bloody well please. You can't do this, little bastard. You can't just do whatever... We'll do what we were sent here to do. You're here to keep watch on your soldiers. That's all. Don't act as if you're something more. You aren't listening, Roderick. And that's a dangerous fucking habit for a cripple. Now, me and my men will take our place in your hall. Unless you think you and your army can stop me. Oh, I can. Wait, can we? No. You know better than that. You know where we'll be. This is outrageous. Roderick, you can't let them do this. You can't go in there. We can and we will. Unless you want this all to end right now. I want to end you. Come. I'm the only lord here. Come on. Stop them. Do some... God. Throw your cripple stick at them. Fuckers. Griff White, that snot nosed fourth ball. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. Oh, I thought he was gonna hug me. <laughs> Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people if it drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. I have to get rid of like him. Like he's the cock and we're in his roost. Whether he rides out on horseback or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles or the end of them. Don't care. They can't fucking go on our house and take our shit. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. It's only our little brother. Do we care about him that much? I mean, sure, she does. Our mom does, of course, but... He carved these soldiers himself. Oh, no. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Oh, fuck. It's 
So expel Griff or save Ryan. Um, so let's look at the situation as a whole right now. So they basically fucked over our land from High Point to Ironwrath. And they've taken control of Ironwrath as well, pretty much, well Griff has. But expelling Griff isn't the root of, the, of our problem, basically. It's just, if we do that, we get back our, our castle, pretty much. But saving Ryan would um, then give us back the bargaining chip that they're basically using against us He's, they're using Ryan as a hostage right even though the woman at the funeral kind of told us I don't exactly remember but she kind of told us that she would keep an eye out on him that he's not being heard that he's being kept safe at least but still I feel like if we anger them more they might have to resort or they might resort to actually hurting or killing Ryan and I just feel like what the other guy said is that um, by killing the snake you have to get rid of the head but the head isn't Griff so I feel like if we actually but that but that's more dangerous men we're going up against of course which we are and we are so look at we had like five people there and one of them is a woman she, so she's not gonna hold the sword up and stab it in someone's throat so personally I would this would probably be the 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 difficult option but if it works it would probably be the best option the thing I'm questioning right now is whether we're strong enough to actually do this but I'm gonna I mean you gotta gamble right if we, if we get save Ryan then we can expel Griff later okay that's how I'm gonna play it let's save Ryan we get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the Whitetails head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. If you think I'm giving up on Ironrath, you're wrong. By keeping this family together, Ironrath will stand. Roderick is right. Exactly. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then... It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Oh. Thankfully, Roderick secured an alliance with the All Clans, right, the woman. But those forces mean nothing until after the marriage. Let's get married that means then. We have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asha and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitel will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. Our very lives and the future of House Forrester are at stake. We have to let them try. It's the only way. Then we hold fast. For now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Exactly, I gotta recover well, too. one way or another there's a fight ruined. So I have much to prepare. And men to train. My lord. Alright, good meeting. Mom is happy, so you know, pleasing everyone here. And that's my job. My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I, and she's willing to meet, away from her father's guards. I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. I understand your hesitation. Do you think she can be trusted? It's possible she has other motives, Asher. but it's a chance to learn more about our enemies. We need to take it, and I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Wait, that's not the maester, no. It's Uncle Duncan. Handle things right with Gwyn, and she may even help us in High Point. When the time comes.
I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon, please. <laughs> we'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the crown lands. Uh-oh. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Uh-oh. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. <laughs> I'll return her shortly. Oh, God. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Oh, my God. Very soon you'll be the queen. What the fuck do I do? You'll deny me. Family or Marjorie? Me. Family or Marjorie? Fam They're kind of counting Mira, on please Fuck you, Marjorie. Me, my lady. I promise I will. Oh, is she going to be mad? Oh, my God. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Oh, my God. Tyrion, Although save me. Tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. Save what me. did you want, my lord? Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Iron. Ooh. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it. Podrick! <laughs> Podrick's so funny. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Thank you. I know the crown doesn't hold my family in high regard. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. Don't think I've forgotten your side of the arrangement. As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove uh, That might be a problem. Enjoy the festivities. <gasps> Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. That might be a problem as handmaiden of the queen. <clears throat> Today of all days. You know I didn't want you talking to Who him. Who says we, t we were talking? You're playing a dangerous game. I was game, just listening. Sarah. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. <laughs> what? I'll deal with you after the wedding. Oh, God. Come with me, Sarah. You better fuck up her hair and gown, Sarah. Come on. We BFFs over here. You gotta get my back. Karen. Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. Uh-oh. What did he want? He oh. Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? There's news that House Forrester is in trouble. I'm sorry to hear it, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the Wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Well, I know I can count on you, John. I'm flattered. But our paths may not always cross. You'll need allies beside you. Errol Holt of White Harbor. <laughs> I'm kissing his ass Wells so much. Holy Set. shit. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. <laughs> What's that fucker? Make sure you're not bringing this one to the Boltons. The guy. They killed our father, right? Gary. Gary, what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Gary, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the Maester? Don't do something you'll regret. He killed my family. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I did with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? I got nothing to say to you. Now get out my sight, and will you make me? That's enough, both of you. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. 
Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video. Peace.